Hey guys, it's Cassia. Today is Wednesday the 9th of September 2020 and I have a little bit of a life update for you. I'm just going to cut to the chase. Basically, Seth and I are going back home to WA. A little bit of context for those of you who may not know. Um, Seth and I moved to Melbourne, Victoria in January for my new job um, and obviously I know I'm not the only one who's going through this. I'm not special at all. So many people's you know, worlds have been turned upside down. Um, but basically, yeah, this year has just not been what any of us have expected. It's definitely not been ideal. Um, and basically, yeah, Seth and I moved here for my brand new job. And since March, because of this pandemic, my whole office has been working from home. Again, we're not the only ones, I completely know that. For someone who, you know, moved away from her family, we don't have very many friends and, you know, even the friends that we do have, we can't go and see right now. Um, it's just been incredibly hard to have moved here for this job and then to have not been able to go into the office and do that job with, you know, all of my new colleagues that I was just getting to know, um, in a new office environment that I was just getting to know. It's just been incredibly difficult. Um, and basically we, we stuck it up for so long, you know, we've been in lockdown since March and now September and we had maybe a good few weeks of things like restrictions being a little bit lifted, um, where I was able to go back into the office for about, for a few days. Other than that, we were pretty much, you know, at home 24 seven. Now Melbourne is going through some of the strictest restrictions in the world. Um, and my hometown, Perth, has pretty much been living COVID free for a few months. And, you know, during the first lockdown, things are really hard, like really hard, but it seemed as if the whole, like the whole world was in lockdown. All of my friends are going through the exact same thing. My family is going through the same thing. We were all in lockdown. Whereas this time, all of my friends are pretty much free living their normal lives. We basically just, we, we want to go home. And I recognize it is such a privilege that I have somewhere else to go, you know, I have a different home to go to, a lot of Victorians who are from Victoria, they don't have anywhere else to go, and I really, really, really feel for everyone here right now, like honestly, obviously I've been living it, so I know it's so hard, and I'm getting to escape, and I'm so grateful for that, I'm so grateful that I have a family that's willing to take us in at this time, and I'm just grateful that I get to go somewhere else um and yeah i know not everyone has that option and it's so incredibly hard and i think we stuck it out for this long because we didn't want to give up on the city you know we just moved here in january and then you know everything turned upside down in march we were not ready to move again after three months you know and like everyone we kind of thought things would blow over it would be all fine um but things just keep getting worse here in Melbourne anyway you know they've we were supposed to be ending lockdown on the 13th of September so just in a couple of days and now they pretty much announced an indefinite kind of lockdown until the end of October and so we've just had enough um yeah, that is my life update as you can see by the box in the background we are packing we've been packing for the past couple of days um and we are flying out tomorrow morning which I'm so excited for it's kind of bittersweet, you know, I am so excited and relieved to be going home. But it's also really, really sad, you know. We did not expect to be packing another box for at least another two years, you know. We were in here for the long haul. It feels like we're giving up on Melbourne, on our lives in Melbourne. Um, but we just know it's, you know, it's out of our hands. <laughs> this pandemic has really shaken all of us. We will be going back to WA for a few months. We're just going to be monitoring the situation here in Melbourne until it's safe for us to come home and be back here. Hopefully once everyone is back in the office and things are a lot safer, we will be back. Um, but for now, the right thing for us to do is to go back home and be surrounded with the people that we love and who love us. We are putting a bunch of our stuff, you know, our big furniture into storage here just so that it is here when we come back. Also shipped a few boxes back to WA, so we packed all those all up and shipped them off yesterday. Today we are just doing the final pieces, you know, packing our suitcases and all of this other stuff. We are actually going to be hotel quarantining, which... I am so pumped for. Yeah, so we will be hotel quarantining for 14 days starting tomorrow. 
Um, so of course I will take you along that journey. I've actually been obsessed with watching other people's vlogs of them hotel quarantining. I don't know why, just wanted to torture myself just to see what I was in for. Um, but yeah, we will be doing that tomorrow. Yeah, this year is just so much fun, isn't it? Love 2020. Hello, it's a few hours later and we have dinner. What do we have? Okay. <laughs> Very helpful. We have Tokyo Table. This is our last night here, our last chance to have takeaway. So we thought we'd go all out. Also have Taco Bell, which is very naughty, but um, we don't have Taco Bell in WA. So we thought we would make the most of it, but I'm very excited to dig into this. Happy last night here. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today's the day we are flying out this morning. We have some last minute bits to do, so I'm gonna strip down the bed. And then that's going to go into storage. Um, but I said I'd show you my outfit. These pants are from One Mile, Sammy Robinson's label. And oh my god, so comfortable. I've also got the shirt on underneath this. And then I just have this jumper on. Which I don't know where this is from because it's my grandma's. Um, but yeah, I'm going to strip this bed down now. And yeah, all of this is going into storage. There's more out there, but I'm not going to show you that. Oh my god, I'm tired. This is how the place is looking. Doesn't really look like we're moving out. Looks like we're moving in. Um, but everything is empty. Fridge. All empty. All cabinets are empty. This is actually really sad. It's actually a beautiful day today here in Melbourne. Um, but yeah, all of this stuff is going into storage. That's why there's so much here. Yeah, it is. Um, it's really bittersweet. But, um, yeah, look how beautiful it is today. Later, and we've arrived at the hotel. So we are staying at the West Inn, and I'll give you a little tour. Walk into this beautiful picture, this bench. This little bit. The bathroom is beautiful. I love this. We've got a set on the bed. <laughs> this bathroom is actually so stunning. Look at that shower. It is beautiful. And the toilet is like behind this mirror. So cool. And then we can also walk out into here. Seth has already messed up the bed. Thank you for that. But it's not, um, not bad, you know. I'm not upset about it. Nice seating area, nice desk for me to do my work, which will be lovely. And then we've got this. Look at that view. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful day in Perth. Oh my gosh, I'm happy. So nice. Beautiful. <laughs> nice big TV, not too bad. Yeah, how do you feel? It's quite nice. Yeah, I'm happy. Had our first food delivery arrive. I'm gonna go through what's in here. We've got a ham and cheese sandwich. Also, that noise is the kettle. We didn't realize we'd be getting food, so we're in the middle of cooking. Um, what are these called? Instant noodles. My brain left me. We got a. We got some food. So we've got ham and cheese sandwich. We've got some. Oh, chocolate cake. Oh. The good thing about this is Seth isn't going to eat any of his dessert, so I'm going to get all of it, which is great. Got some popcorn. Got some soy rice crackers, which we got on the plane, and Seth liked that. I didn't. Got a pear. Very nice. Little bottle of water. And a juice box. I'm so happy with that. This actually is pretty solid. I'm not, um, not too unhappy with this. We've been in here for maybe like an hour or two, and I'm already... So bored. I've already. It is officially day one of quarantine. I'm doing my skincare, I've just cleansed my face. 
You are currently stacked on two tissue boxes, my cleanser and a cup and I still need to bend it down a little bit so ignore that. In it with my sand in the sky, this is the enzyme powder polish. You just pour some powder into your hand and then wet it a little bit. And then you mix it up and make it into a paste. It is um, 7 a.m. Perth time, but my body clock is still in Melbourne time. So technically it's 9 a.m. for me, but Seth and I both woke up at like 4 a.m. Perth time. And then couldn't sleep, so. But today is Friday and I am working today, which I am kind of happy about because I don't know what else I would do today. Oh. <clears throat> All right, next up I'm going in with my Tatcha Essence. This is, just press it in like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Sand and Sky Tasmanian Spring Water Hyaluronic Splash Serum. Such a long name. So beautiful, I've just started using this. They sent this to me a few weeks ago and I love it and my skin definitely needs some hydration because we were on a plane yesterday and then we are stuck in a room with just like aircon on all day. So my skin is gonna need all the hydration it can get. I'm actually feeling good today, haven't gone crazy yet. I'm, I'm guessing by like day three I'll go crazy, but we'll see. Last night was fine, we had dinner, which was um, pumpkin mash with chicken. It actually wasn't too bad, not as bad as it looked. Um, and my dad came over with so many groceries, which was lovely. Um, so now we're fully stocked. I'll show you what he got us. Oh, I'm just going in with my Summer Fridays Vitamin C. This is a CC Me Serum. My absolute favorite. Yeah, last night Seth and I just watched a bunch of stuff. We watched Two and a Half Men. We're just trying to entertain ourselves. We had a call with one of my friends which was lovely. We had an early night. We were trying so hard to stay up till at least like 9 or 10 p.m. Perth time. Um, but we were in Melbourne time and we had like a long, busy, stressful day of flying. And so by like seven o'clock, we were ready to sleep. But um, we tried to stay up as much as we could. It's so beautiful today. I'm gonna make some breakfast. So my dad brought us all of these packets of chips. <laughs> I didn't ask for all of that, but um, thank you, dad. We've got some bread, apples, and our mini fridge is fully stocked. Got so much stuff in here. Um, so I'm gonna make some breakfast now. The kettle sounds like it's dying. Why does it do that? Okay, well breakfast we've just got yogurt with strawberries and apple juice that they gave us last night some English breakfast tea look at this view that I get to stare at all day while I'm working I also have this mirror so you can kind of see me hello this lamp looks like a hat if I do that. <laughs> sitting here doing some work um, we don't know what time they're actually gonna give us breakfast it's a beautiful morning I'm tired all of a sudden yeah, I've got a meeting in half an hour, so I have some work to do before that. Um, yeah. And Seth just gets to stay in bed, and I'm jealous. Okay, it is 10 a.m. Is it 10 a.m.? It is 9 a.m., and we just got our breakfast, so this is what they delivered. We got one of these, which I'm not really sure why we just got one. Um, and then this is the rest of the breakfast, so we've got two bags of this. Um, so it looks like we've got some oatmeal. Looks kind of sad and it's cold. Orange juice. We've got these things. <laughs> um, some yogurt, which is nice. Another pear, some water. Looks fine. <laughs> we've already eaten breakfast though, so I don't know what to do with this. Time is going so slowly, but our favorite thing to do right now is just watching people try and find parks in this car park because there's just no park, so they just keep aimlessly driving around and they're just never gonna find a park. And then we've been trying to see, there's like heaps of bad parkers as well. Oh my God, look, another car's coming in. You're not gonna find a park, dude. 
this guy has been lurking for a while. Look how crooked this guy's park is as well. This, what is this guy doing? It's just chilling there. This is our source of entertainment right now. We haven't even been here for 24 hours and we're both so bored. And tomato and lettuce sandwich, which you are not gonna eat. Nope. Cheeseburger twisty, they've never seen that. Yeah, water. This jams raspberry flavored. So this is day one lunch. Not too bad for me, at least. Yeah. You're not happy with it. He doesn't like tomato. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I've just had. We've just had our COVID test done, and I'm. It made me cry. It just makes your eyes water so much. Oh, my nose just feels so. I, I, so weird but it wasn't actually that bad i was really really scared of it but it's actually really not that bad i was like being dumb and freaking myself out by watching like tiktoks and videos and it looked horrible but that wasn't that wasn't bad i should have tried to video it i don't think you want to see that though maybe next time my nose just feels so weird i keep rubbing it oh anyways that was fun now i'm back to work it is dinner time. We're sitting here watching Bachi. They've delivered our dinner, but my dad has brought us takeaway from my favorite Italian restaurant. Got some spaghetti bolognese. I have been dreaming of this for so many months, and so I'm so very, I'm so happy. Mm. Mm. So happy.